the brand new Mercedes-Benz C-Class. This is the C300 AMG line. AMG line means it's got some added AMG bits and pieces like 19-inch alloy wheels, a little discrete body kit. Uh, this also comes as a C200 and the C200 is driven by a 1.5 litre four-cylinder turbocharged engine. This of course is the C300 which has got a 2 litre turbocharged engine with a mild hybrid system running in the background. You don't have to plug it in or worry about it, it just works in the background to save you fuel. As you can see, a lot of safety features. Now, this C300 AMG line, like I said, 2 litre engine turbocharged, has got 258 horsepower. It'll kick in, the, 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 the turbo will kick in at an early 2000 revolution. So at 2000 revolution, you'll feel the surge. I'll show you, I'll show it to you later. Now it's got 400 Newton meters of torque, which is a lot of power, a lot of power. That comes in at uh, 2000 revolution. Now from zero to 100, uh, the acceleration time is six seconds. That's very, very fast, six seconds. And the governed top speed, now this is, in, I'm now in eco mode. Eh? So you see the acceleration is there, but not, it's not great. So let me change the dynamic selector to sports mode. And when we see a bit of a open road, I'll show you how this car accelerates. So meanwhile, this is a C300, like I said earlier, it's a two liter engine. It's fully equipped. Look, it's got this new instrument panel here, nice flat screen here, touch screen, very visible, very easy on the eye as you're driving. Uh, of course, you'll take some time to memorize all the little functions, but it's like, it's like when you get a new smartphone, you get some time to get used to it. So with the 9-speed gearbox that comes with this car, it's called a 9G Tronic, and you're in sports mode, like I showed you earlier. You go here, you just click on sports mode, and when you accelerate, I didn't even slam the accelerator, I just progressively accelerated it delivers quite a bit of fun factor. So this is what Mercedes is trying to do. They're trying to give their average sedans enough entertainment for drivers to enjoy. Now, apart from all that, you get a car that it's literally fully equipped. You've got a sunroof, you've got all the safety features you'll want in a car. You've got a nice looking car, good drive dynamics, entertaining engine, Nice steering feel, thick rim steering wheel, soft touch functions on the wheels, nice big infotainment like I said earlier. So what else do you need? You need to know whether you can afford it. Now, the, the C200 is about 40,000 ringgit cheaper than this C300. But is that really a big difference? I don't think so because why? That's about 12% more expensive. So if you're gonna buy a C-Class, I would say, Pay that extra 40,000 ringgit, which is 327,000 for this car, and get a C300 with the AMG kit, the added power, and also, you know, next time when you want to sell the car, there's always a little bit more value with higher spec vehicles. So the C300, AMG line, this is what you need to go and test drive very soon. Well, if you can afford it. Now, right there, by coincidence, is the older version of this car, the older C300. So you can notice some little changes. Of course, the guys put some body stripes on it, but this is what people do to their AMG cars. They make it look even more interesting.